Okay, so I wasn't very sure if I wanted to upload this video or not, but I'm about to upload it. And I'm about to just let y'all in on how I be feeling on some days when I be missing Carter. And other days, it's just like... This video is really emotional. It's very emotional. I'm not going to lie. It's very emotional. But I just wanted to show y'all that side of me. Like, everybody just be asking me, how do I deal with my postpartum depression? And I really don't know how to deal with it. I really don't understand why this happened to me. I don't just, I don't know how to cope with it. Like, I just really needed help in this video. Like, and as of right now, I still do need help, but I just think, like, I don't know why. I just don't know why this happened to me. And I recorded this video a month ago, June 1st. I recorded this video on June 1st. Well, the video I'm about to see, I recorded it on June 1st. And this is, like, August, what, 5th, 6th, 5th, 6th. I don't know what today's date is. But... I just wanted to show you guys what I be going through on my days. I've been really, really missing my son and days like I really just want to feel him next to me, his love. I just want to feel him. His little kisses smell so sweet. I'm not able to do that. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys this video. So, I hope you guys don't judge me for it because I was really emotional in this video. And I'm just talking about how I feel. And yes, I am crying. It's very emotional, so be aware. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning into this video. I'm going to start posting more stuff about my postpartum depression because there's a lot of girls who be uh, DMing me, asking me, like, how do they cope with it? Like, you don't have to have postpartum depression um if you lost your baby you can have postpartum depression after after you have your baby after your baby's with you like you're gonna have a whole bunch of hormones in your body emotions going through your body so i don't want to feel i don't want nobody to feel like they're alone so that's why i'm really uploading this video I really don't care what nobody else have to really say about it because this is my experience and i want to take y'all on with it to take it on with me i want y'all to experience i want to let y'all see what i really be going through like Something just made me pick up the camera just like just bent. And I was just bent. And that helped me that day because that day was real hard for me. And I just didn't understand. Like a lot of stuff was going through my mind. Like, I don't understand why God did that to me. Like, I'm about to cry now. Like, I don't understand why, um I'm sorry, but I don't understand why like I had to go through something like that. Something so traumatic and depressing. And, like, um, I just don't understand why I had to, had to go through something like that. And at the age of 20, I had to go through that. I'm 21 right now. But at the age of 20, I had to go through something like that. And I, I never really, I still don't understand why God honestly did that to me. If that makes sense. I'm not trying to be um, unappreciative of my life or anything. But, like... If my if I would have never went through something like that, like I would not be this broken. I'm like I'm really real life broken inside, and nothing is going to fix that hole. Like nothing's going to fix that hole in my heart. Like I miss my child. Like it's just too much. It just be too much for me to handle, and like. I just don't understand why I had to go through something so traumatic and depressing like that. Like, they say God get these uh, hardest battles to their strongest soldiers, but I don't feel like the strongest soldier right now. I feel kind of weak. I want to always feel weak. Like, yeah, but I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to show you guys this video and let everybody know that it's okay to cry it's okay to feel sad and alone especially if you have postpartum depression or in any case it's okay to feel like that like you're human you're gonna have emotions but it's all about how you deal with them 
and I honestly don't know how to deal with my emotions now like I really don't it been eight months since I lost my child it's gonna be nine months on the 24th and it just be like this is just too much for me and I'm still trying to deal and cope with it but I'm never gonna cope with it because that was my child I lost my first child like this is so traumatic and depressing traumatic it's traumatic as fuck for me and it's depressing and i don't understand why i had to go through something like that or why that just happened to me i just want to know why did that happen to you because <sighs> because like why did you give me something that you was gonna take away like I just don't understand it, and I really just be needing, like, I just want understanding. I just need to know why did that happen to me, and can't nobody give me that answer. I can't even give myself the answer. Like, I don't know why that happened to me. Like, my heart really feel like it's a hole. Like, I don't know why that happened to me. I just don't know why. But you're not supposed to question, but I still want to know why, though. So, yes, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you can, I'm going to leave the comments on in this video. I want to hear feedback. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my social media. It's all down below. I just wanted to come on here and say, like, if you ever, if you ever feel how I feel, it's not good to hold it in. I don't talk about I don't talk about my emotions. I don't talk about what's going on with me. I don't talk about it because nobody you going nobody is going to understand what what I'm really going through or understand how I feel. I feel empty, I feel lost. I don't know what to do. Like I just Smoking is not getting, it's not gonna help me right now. I don't, smoking is not gonna help. Me drinking is not gonna help. Like, I'm trying to learn how to deal with my postpartum depression hands on instead of just thinking of a drug or alcohol. Like, I need help. Nobody knows what to say to me. Nobody knows how I feel. Like, And when I try to explain it to some to some people, they just sit there and just look at me and feel sorry for me. Like, I don't need nobody to feel sorry for me. I just need someone just there to help me. <laughs> but... Uh, people just think like I'm just a happy person like I am a happy person but days like this I don't know what to do